Hello everybody and welcome to uh, our third video in uh, MagroHell uh, Connected Series Training. And today we're going to um, go to the third option which is assessment in the teacher center. Again, this is your home page, the connected page. And in order to go to your assessment or e-assessment, you need to go to your teacher edition, which is um, uh, listed under your books. So here you have again the physics alignment guide and here the student edition and the teacher edition. Click on the teacher edition. By clicking on the teacher edition you'll uh, be uh, going to the teacher center and the teacher center as I told you before this is uh, the, the, the basic uh, cornerstone of your activities so um, uh, by going to the plan and present you can uh, mention your plans your uh, resources uh, manage and assign uh, this is related to your homework and today we're going to discuss the assessment or the e-assessment uh, which is in the teacher center so click on uh, assess by clicking on assess you will find two basic icons here the first one is the question or the e-assessment bank the second one is the e-solution manual uh, in order to create a test so you need to go to your uh, e-assessment bank or the question bank so the e-assessment is loading and here we go uh, this is your e-assessment uh, area. Uh, in order to go and create a test, uh, you need to be familiar with the three sections in the e-assessment. Uh, in the right corner here, you will find three um, uh, options. The first one is the, t the test generator, which is the part that we are going through now. The second one is the classes and assignment. This is after you're uh, generating or after your test generating, you need to go to the class in order to assign the test to a certain class. And here, this is the third part, which is related to the reporting in order to get some reports about your tests. Um, so you need to go and click this tab. So we need to create a test. So you have two options here. Uh, the first link is to create a new test. The second one is to create a new question set. Um, so we will click on create a new test. So this is the new test wizard and it, uh, it has the main uh, instructions that you need um, to follow in order to create a new test. So before going to the, these details, I just want to clarify three basic options that Magrohel um, uh, gave to the to the teachers. Uh, you have a first building option, which is uh, the test is going to be randomly selected by question type from existing question set. So this is a random uh, question set that it is going to be created by the test generator. The second option is to build a test according to standards. So this is the, the, the part that is related to the standardized test. If you need a standardized test or a difficulty level test, this is your option. The difficulty level um, is uh, classified into two basic types, the, uh, ma the uh, Bloom's taxonomy and uh, the DOK or the depth of knowledge. So you need to choose uh, some of the criteria in order to uh, build this uh, standardized test the third one is to build an empty test and this option is giving you the full control you're going to be uh, in a full control of your test it's an empty test you can choose your uh, questions and edit them uh, whenever you want in order to um, explore this system we are going to have a look on the three systems so uh, the three options so uh, by clicking on the option one which is building a test with questions randomly selected by question type so first of all we need to uh, put a test title so let's say that this is uh, physics test one chapter one and then you have to put this or to locate this test in one of the folders here so i will put or locate this test in my test folder by just one click on my test folder you can locate this test in this folder and then be sure that you have selected this building option which is the first option and then click next so i'm going to choose 
from my question set I'm because I have many books here I need to choose my own book which is uh, physics principles and problems and I'm going to choose chapter one so I'm going to choose here the book takes time okay I'm going to choose just only the chapter one and then click next so now you are um, having a look on the number of questions related to chapter one and those are randomly scattered questions or they are randomly questions uh, here you have 14 completion here you have nine essay questions you have seven matching you have two multi-mode and you have 16 mcqs or multiple choices questions here you have uh, 39 subjective short answer and you have 17 uh, true and false questions so you can choose the number of questions here i'm going to choose 10 multiple choices for example i'm going to choose um, 10 multiple choices and here let's say i'm going to have uh, five true and false and then next again uh, the the test wizard is revising the your uh, test information so this is the title of the test this is the location of the test in order to remind you of the location and you have the number selected here you have 10 multiple uh, completion questions you have 10 multiple choices question and you have five true and false the total number of your question is mentioned here which is 25 by clicking finish now your test is ready so now it is going to uh, export all of your uh, questions the 25 questions um, like that so this is your test all of your questions are mentioned here according to uh, the options that you have chosen uh, you can edit your test by um, uh, first of all you can uh, relocate the questions so suppose that I want this question to be the first one so I just can relocate it and the number is going to be edited by itself I can also here by clicking file I can export this test into a word document I can also here from printing the PDF I can print a single version of this test or I can choose the multiple versions option here so by printing uh, using this option you will have many versions of the same test so it scrambles the questions um, uh, by itself which saves your uh, effort and time in making many versions of the same test so after reviewing your test and uh, being sure that it is ready just click exit by clicking exit your test is saved already in your um, uh, folder that you have chosen earlier which is my test you can check this out by uh, expanding my test folder and then you can go to your uh, test and as you can see the test is here physics test chapter one you can uh, again recheck it out by uh, dragging it to the area here and you can review your questions one more time this is the first option of um, generating a test using the ra randomly selected questions let's go uh, to the second option which is building the test uh, according to standards or difficulty level so I need to choose the second option which is build a test with questions randomly selected by specific questions information such as state standards or difficulty level from existing questions you need also to write the or to mention the test title let's say this is uh, test 2 here our test let's say test 2 shady standard and then you choose the folder to locate the your test which is my tests here then click next again your questions you need to choose the specific chapter before going forward so my principle this is principles and problems chapter 1 then click next now the you have a new test wizard the new test wizard 
is um, uh, letting you uh, choose uh, one of the question information do you want standardized test according to standards according to st state standard according to difficulty keyword learning objectives you have many options and rich options uh, in uh, question information so let's say I want it uh, due to difficulty level in the difficulty level you have blooms taxonomy or blooms levels uh, that they are here six levels and you have the DOK or the depth of knowledge um, option you have total of 16 uh, blooms level one you have 31 level two you have blooms taxonomy level three nine questions if I don't want all of these questions I just want some of those questions to be included in my test I just click edit and then I need for example 10 of level 1 multiple choices questions uh, blooms level 1 so I will update now I have chosen 10 uh, let's say I want uh, blooms level 2 they are total 31 I just need let's say 5 update and then for the DOK or the depth of knowledge here let's say depth of knowledge one I need five more questions and then update and then you can click next again this reviews the main or the basic information of your test here you have the test title test 2 shady or standard uh, the folder location is my tests here this is the folder that you located your um, generated test uh, and finally you have the no total number of selected questions is 20 uh, the number selected 10 blooms level 1 5 level 2 and 5 DOK 1 which is depth of knowledge 1 and then click finish by clicking finish so you will be having uh, uh, your test ready again you have the same options you can uh, relocate your questions and also by clicking here you can edit the question you can delete the question and you can duplicate the question if you want you have the same options here in file tab you can export to a word document if you want to keep a word document for yourself also you can have a printed version single version or multiple versions again by you can exit anytime and it will be saved in your folder and as you can see under my folder i can see the test 2 shady standard which is the name of the test and you can drag it anytime to review and edit your test so this is the second option of building a test which is building a test by a certain criteria or a certain standard or a difficulty level let's go to the third option so create a new test the third option is building an empty test and this option is giving you the full control of your test so this is the one that you can control your questions you can add all of your questions you want you can edit all of your questions so this is the one that gives you a full control of the content of the test again you need to make a title so let's say this is um, uh, test 3 shady um, so test 3 shady this is the name of the test the folder is my test and click finish by clicking finish now you have an empty test you can choose any kind of content any chapter by just dragging the questions that you want so let's say I want um, here I'm teaching physics uh, um, chapter 1 so I will drag chapter 1 here uh, first of all we need to choose the questions here of chapter one you can drag this a little bit here so you have chapter one set student edition you have supplemental uh, problems so let's say you want chapter one you can just drag it here with this blue icon just drag it and you will find all of the questions add your questions and then you will be having all of the questions needed you can use this as a question bank or for the finals you can also choose this option you can again uh, relocate the the questions and you can delete and edit 
duplicate whatever you want and finally you can uh, export in a word file and also you can uh, get it in a single version or multiple versions PDF by exiting or click exit so again you have your test saved already you can go whenever you want drag it and put it here in this uh, area and you will be having a final look in order to edit or to export your test now we have explored the three building options of uh, an e-test um, uh, you have three basic options um, you have uh, the first option is to build a test questions randomly selected by question type you have to build um, or building a test with questions randomly selected by specific questions information such as state standard or difficulty and finally you have the third building option which is build an empty test and this is the one that gives you the full control you can edit and add any kind of questions you want uh, don't forget to put a test title uh, to locate your test in a specific folder and then click next uh, thank you very much uh, for watching um, uh, your comments uh, are appreciated please if you have any questions just post them uh, to uh, come uh, to uh, this video as a comment uh, next time inshallah in our uh, fourth video i'm going to explain the basic features of classes and assignments and how to utilize the wonderful uh, features of reporting system of magra thank you very much